2006. Um, I came in as had no clue. I biggest town I'd ever lived in had 40,000 people. I had moved to DC for a job. Didn't know where I was other than I had signed a lease for a place I had never seen. And so I got here. I plugged in my computer and I googled "gay Arlington," and this place called Freddy's Beach Bar showed up. And uh, I came here, and that night, someone that means a lot to a lot of us in this room, um, that several of us I know still have a button hanging someplace in our house probably, that said, WWCD, what would Cheryl do? Amen. Cheryl was here that evening, and I was sitting up here on the end of the bar, and she came over and struck up, I wasn't, I didn't know anyone, I was sitting up by myself, um, and she struck up a conversation. And Cheryl was an incredible person who did so much for so many in this area. Um, she sadly is with the angels. Um, but um, I keep that actually my little button, the WWCD button in my desk um, every day at the office. And think about what would Cheryl do? Um, and she focused on trying to make sure that we all looked in the positive and in what we had commonality amongst us. Um, we all have a lot of unique in the uh, qualities, but there's so much more that we share across each other. Whether we're gay or straight, black or white, Jew, Gentile, Muslim, non-faith, what have you. Uh, we all have that commonality of humanity. And when we cling to that commonality, there's a whole lot more that we can do. And when we let others focus on separating us, um, it's a whole lot easier for them to tear us down if we separate ourselves as well. And this happens also be the birthday of Jose Julia Saria, um, and she was known for a quote, uh, United we stand, divide us, they pick us off one by one. And there's a lot of truth to that quote. And I think if we just really remember that you never know how the power of just the word hi, or how are you doing. So if you see someone sometime, uh, whether it's at, at the bar or at a restaurant, or wherever it happens to be, who seems like they're off to themselves, my favor I'm going to ask of you this evening is to go up and say hi. Um, even if it's not even to say the word, just go up and give them a smile. You never know. That simple act may very well be what is the difference between that individual being here today and not being here tomorrow. There are many people in this room who are the reason why I'm still alive. I owe an awful lot to Agla. I owe a lot to there are a whole lot of you in this room. And it is because of many of you in this room who gave me your support. They got me through a lot of hard times, both health, personal and otherwise. And it's those kindness and saying, hey, you're going to get through it. It, you know, look, you're going you're gonna to see those friends you know next week. That's the kind of thing that makes Arlington so special. The Arlington Way truly is something that's brilliant and bright. And going to this very single day, it truly is that we stand together, we're united across our differences, and we stand together with our commonality. And I think that's the brilliant idea and mission when you boil it down of Agla. Yes, we talk about the word that have that tripartite mission of safe social activities, community service, and nonpartisan political awareness. That is what we legally do. However, what we really fundamentally at its core do is we promote commonality and promote the celebration of humanity. No matter who you are in Arlington County, no matter who you are in Northern Virginia, no matter who you are, wherever you are, we are particularly care for you, those of you who are here in Northern Virginia, but everywhere, we're your champion. It's our goal to make sure that everyone has some place to come to if there's an issue that they've got confronting them, if they need a champion. Know that any of us on that board, we are there to be your champion. If there's an idea you have, something that can be done that maybe Agla used to do, maybe no one ever thought about Agla doing it. But it's an idea, and it ought to be considered. And a lot of those ideas that we've got are things that have led to where now some of our most bright, brilliant, largest activities that are going on. Um, 
And with that, I'm going to shut up and go wipe away the tears off my face because I didn't realize I was going to do that, but oh well, that's life. Um, I do want to, though, introduce one other person. Um, Agla has really been doing a lot of work um, with the Imperial Corps partnering over the last few years, and Agla was really honored and surprised. And I guess it was August is when uh, Connie came to us, Connie and Romeo, and approached us about being a, a RAIN charity. And what the Imperial Corps does is they do nothing but raise money for the community. And as a RAIN charity, we're one of their selected primary charities that they're raising money for all year long. 